Hey, welcome. I am so happy today. The sun is shining, which is genuinely rare in these parts anymore. My fig trees are actually showing signs of life, which is a really big deal for me. I overwintered them indoors on my back porch and it was a success. I am desperate to grow my own figs and I will not give up until it is accomplished. So that's exciting. And I finally purchased some bees. I am gonna be a beekeeper. I have been wanting to get bees for so long now. I have had a top bar hive in my backyard, literally just rotting and collecting cave crickets. Ew, disgusting. And I am so excited that it is finally gonna be filled with appropriate occupants. So this April, towards the end, closer to May, they should arrive in the mail. I'm gonna put them in my hive. I'm going to learn the whole process as I go along, which is kind of my style. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get away with not having a bee suit. And today, I am gonna be doing something that I have never done before. So here is the plan. I am gonna try to scale down the prairie dress that I made in my last video to fit my 11 year old daughter. I have never done anything like this before. I don't know how to do it. I am gonna just use my best judgment, my intuition. I assume it can't be that hard, especially if I'm just constantly pinning things on her and sewing and then correcting my errors and slimming things down. Honestly, that's what I have to do when I sew my own garments anyway. I'm assuming most people who sew are doing this process too, unless they just really understand the pattern making process and how it relates to their uh, physicality, but I don't. I just kind of guess and go along with it and then modify things as I move forward. So that's what I'm going to be doing with her dress today. Let's get started. Have you ever had a project come together so readily and so quickly without any hiccups? You feel like, this is too easy, what gives? I have put no thought into it at all. I wish I seriously had some science to bestow. I've never made a pattern smaller than it needs to be to this type of scale. I've definitely sized down patterns a little bit in the waist or to fit my particular measurements, but I've always kind of stayed within the guidelines. For this, I've just kind of eyeballed what I thought I should do to shrink down this pattern to fit my daughter, and so far everything has just come together and worked really nicely. I am working on the sleeves right now and putting in the buttons. 
I still have to complete the ruffle, which if you watched my previous prairie dress video, you understand that that's almost half of the process here. So that's still gonna be a lot of fabric. I'm excited it's gonna be less fabric because this dress is so much smaller than mine. It's actually really ridiculous how much smaller it is. I just find it so cute and so quaint and I'll put them together side by side so you can see the actual difference. But when it came to the process of creating a dress, much smaller than my own all I did was just trace within the lines about an inch or so again just guessing no science applied here and then pinned the actual pieces after I cut them out to her and just kind of thought hmm this looks good and here we are so I encourage anyone and everyone to try this either it's really simple and I didn't realize it or I just got really lucky and next time I will experience some hardships along the way but overall I am incredibly pleased with this process I've been trying it on my daughter in between attaching various pieces and she loves it she said it's really the only form-fitting outfit that she owns and it makes her feel like a grown-up because she thinks that most things for children are kind of boxy. I think I'm going to put the other sleeve on and attach the ruffle and then we're going to be heading to a special location for the reveal. See you soon. Here we are at the end of another sewing adventure and this project came together so easily. I am so pleased with the results. I never thought it would be this simple to scale down a pattern from mother to child and I'm pleasantly surprised. So overall, like I mentioned before, I wish I had some kind of step-by-step -step process that I could share with you, but it was as simple as just putting my pattern onto a piece of flat paper and then tracing about an inch or so within those lines to kind of create a smaller pattern for my daughter. There really weren't any hiccups that I encountered. Like I mentioned before, the hem was a little uneven. It was kind of hard for me to gauge because there's so many different panels. There's a, a two front panels, side panels, back panels, lots of panels in this actual dress torso. So, so lining it up to make it a, a perfect match along the bottom was mildly challenging, but honestly, you know, I was only off by an inch or so, and I don't really feel like I need to go back and refine the pattern at all. It's pretty par for the course that things don't line up exactly. My daughter looks amazingly adorable in it. She loves it so much, which makes me thrilled. Hey, Cece, you want to come here? I figure you might want to talk about the outfit a little bit. So what is your favorite thing about the dress? I I really like the silhouette and like I feel like like if I'm just like standing sideways like the sleeves are like puffy but just like not puffy enough so there's still like a gap here. So I feel like it like really like hugs my form. And just kind of highlights your shape? Yeah. Okay. And how's the, I know you can't spin, there's not enough space, but how is the swoosh factor? I is it it's... ample? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like swooshing in this. It's, it has a lot of skirt, 
which actually surprisingly it's not that heavy yeah i do find that there's a lot of fabric but it is a pretty light dress so it's not necessarily a winter dress and you no. know we're you know freezing our butts off outside right now but when spring comes and I honestly even feel like for a lot of summer we would be able to wear this especially your white dress it's very you know linen is breathable and I feel like it would be good it's, for working out in the free sun. free summer vibes. <laughs> yeah yeah good summer vibes. Okay well I'm so happy you like it. Thanks. This is the first outfit that I've ever sewn for her. I've made little things here and there, but this is a legit outfit, um, head to toe, all by me, and I just can't wait to continue along with this process. I would like to make pantaloons to go under it because a lot of the filming we do is in very cold conditions, but we always do our best to kind of endure it. And I'd like to continue on with the apron and the bonnet. Now, she has a straw hat that I kind of melded onto her head to formulate a straw bonnet, and I think that that would actually complete the look much better than me sewing a bonnet. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe find a handmade straw bonnet on Etsy. There's amazing things on Etsy, so I'm sure I won't be disappointed. And then for me, I'll probably sew something because I don't have a lot of funds to purchase two straw bonnets. I can only imagine how expensive that's gonna be. So I'm gonna get ready to rent that cabin soon, and I'm absolutely gonna film the process and take you along with us. I am expecting it to be so much fun. I cannot wait to cook over an open fire. I am such a pyromaniac, and I want this to be just the beginning. My dream would be to travel a pretty decent distance on horseback. That is definitely a far off goal, but it's on my bucket list. If you've made it to the end of the video, I just want to thank you for tuning in. Please, I love hearing your feedback. If you could post comments below, I promise to respond. And if you did enjoy this video, if you could like and subscribe, it means the world to me. I would love to be able to dedicate more time to this hobby, and your support is absolutely crucial for that. So until next time, see you soon. Bye!